Yo right, guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel, I'm James uh, Yeah we're here today to give you guys our preview coming up for the Newcastle game in this one Should be a pretty interesting fixture, really looking forward to this one as well uh, Should be a good game coming up, obviously Newcastle top of the league right now We're currently fourth, could be a massive fixture for both teams uh, I did a little preview with Clinton or Ford Have Mercy, I did that with him When his video goes up I'll put the link down in the comment section and, uh, kind of the conversation Down in the description down below for you guys, obviously I know you guys probably want to see on my point of view going over on his channel kind of like explain a little bit more in depth than I do in previews uh, and stuff like that so um yeah gonna move on then to Newcastle key men to watch out for probably everyone uh, I'd say at the moment uh, Dwight Gale people like that a lot of really big players um that they have Dwight Gale back from injury uh, you could potentially say as well uh, the danger threat of Mitrovic if he's on the pitch with Richie <laughs> I was able to get that eventually Richie Shelby um Jack Colback potentially could be a threat as well. Yedlin, Gouffran, the list goes on and on and on. Modi Um, But yeah, it's safe to say I'm a little bit scared for this one. But still, we, we could be all right. I feel like we could could get someone from this game. Um, going into my team sheet, though, uh, the team that personally I would play in this game. Uh, and go obviously, I'll start with Al Habsi. You know, there's no question without a doubt why we would not start Al Habsi. Um, personally, at right back, I would start Chris Gunter this game. Um, I wouldn't pick tonight Watson in such a game where we're playing against a high opposition. I would pick Chris Gunter for this one. Uh, moving into the centre backs, I would pick Paul McShane and Liam Moore um, and Blackett. I'd pick a free centre back pair in um, because obviously in this game I feel like we need to go into a counter attacking system in Newcastle rather than possession football and trying to wear them down. I think we should go for the counter attacking philosophy and kind of wait for them to get a little bit tired because I feel like fatigue will be important in this game for Reading. Uh, if Newcastle get tired pretty early on, we'll be able to balance that out. And obviously, where they've played, uh, this will be their third game in eight days against top four sides. If well, top five, um, if they're able to balance that out and if we're able to correctly use our fitness compared to theirs, because obviously ours is going to be a little bit better, uh, I feel like we might be able to pull away of result in this one. But a left wing back will go with Jordan Obey. I feel like if he has that pace and attack down the left wing back side, uh, he'll be coming up against Yedlin. Obviously, Yedlin's a fast player to come up against, but defensively, he might, well, not, he's not the greatest. Um, so, you know, we could potentially get a threat from that coming up. Um, going into the centre midfield, I would play Kelly, Much, and uh, I wouldn't say Swift. Kelly, Much, uh, and Danny Williams, I'd pick. Uh, pick Jordan Much again in a more cam role. Obviously, that's his natural position, uh, playing a cam. Uh, so I'd play Jordan Much around in that position. Uh, Liam Kelly, obviously, I'd start him. I mean, I feel like he's been rested the last couple of weeks because obviously Stam said before uh, that fatigue was a problem with Liam Kelly. Uh, so maybe that could be a potential that we could watch out for. Kelly starting in the lineup against Newcastle. And Danny Williams, like I always say, Williams is probably one of the better midfielders we have in the team. Uh, his first touch is usually a touch, and his second one is a tackle. But at the end of the day, he has that drive and that passion uh, in the team that I like to see. Uh, going into the strikers then, uh, I'm going to go with Jan Kermgen and I'm going to surprise a lot of people going to go with Adrian Popper. Uh, Popper really did impress me on Saturday. He really did it. I uh, really did like seeing him play. I thought he was pretty impressive. Uh, he chased down every ball. He was really fast. Uh, he showed natural fitness as well. He wasn't getting tired too much. He was good on the ball as well. Uh, got past the Wolves left back Savile quite a few times. But saying that was a centre mid playing left back. So uh, might have been maybe uh, showing uh, paper over cracks. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to say this to be honest um, but no uh, I'll go for them lot obviously coming off the bench I'd like to see Yaku Mate be introduced around about the 50th 60th minute I'd like to see him come on obviously if Newcastle have got tired legs he'll be able to run them ragged and get in behind them uh, Gareth McCleary uh, someone who was out of the starting 18 uh, um, out of the 18 match day squad on Saturday uh, saying he had niggling injuries so hopefully he'll be alright for this fixture um, yeah I mean it depends really we've got quite a lot of players to come off the bench and stuff like that so we've got a pretty in-depth squad going into the prediction then for this game I'm going to go with a 2-1 to Newcastle uh, again I can see us pipping this 1-0 getting them tired getting them frustrated the fans getting on their back and then Yaku Mate coming up with an 80th minute winner but at the same time uh, I can see Newcastle kind of getting into the game scoring getting goals and then us chasing it um, but yeah I'm going to go over 2-1 victory to Newcastle uh, I'm going to go with Gale to get the first goal I mean it's bound to happen isn't it he's coming back for his first start um, and he'll probably end up scoring a goal so um, yeah don't forget down in the conversation below guys I want you to put your starting 11 down in the team sheet um, yeah be interested to see what you guys see down there so yeah thanks for watching guys I'll be James we'll see you guys for the prediction league coming up uh, very soon so yeah thanks for watching guys we'll see you then peace